Hare Krishna. Since the month of Damodar is approaching, I thought this would be the most appropriate time to discuss Damodar Ashtagam. So we'll be having this series of lectures on Damodar Ashtagam. We'll cover one one words in each of our presentation here. So let's start with the first verse today. Omagyanati Mirandasya Gyananjana Chalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmay Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpataru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Vevacha Patitanam Pavane Pyo Vaishnapi Pyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advai Takadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur of Haktavrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, first verse of Damodrashtakam is Namam Ishwaram Satchitananda Rupam Lasat Kundalam Go Kule Yashoda Bhiyo Luka Radha Vamana Param Shnamatyan Tato Dhritya Gopyan So, begins with Namam. Namam means I offer my pranam, I offer obeisances. So this prayer by Satyavat Muni begins with offering obeisances to the Supreme Law. So, offering pranam or obeisances to whom? Ishwara. Ishwara means controller. Now, there are so many controllers in this creation. There are innumerable controllers. For example, our eyesight is controlled by certain deva. Certain demigods. Our ears are controlled by certain demigods. Our nostril, for example, is controlled by Ashmi Kumaras. So, in this way, uh, different different demigods control the different senses within our body. So, by referring the word Ishwara, Satyavrat Muni is praying, praying to the supreme controller. Praying to the Lord for the strength or power in his, his senses and his intelligence to offer prayers, suitable prayers to him. <clears throat> but saying that there are so many different controllers, the question comes, which controller is this? This is not an ordinary controller like different demigods. Says, Namam Ishwaram Sat Chit Ananda Rupam. The controller who has a form, Rupam, but what kind of Rupam? Sat Chit Ananda. Eternal, full of knowledge, and full of bliss. So, this is not like an ordinary controller in this creation. All the controllers in this creation have material bodies. The different demigods, they have the bodies made up of earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligent, false ego. Even the topmost of all the demigods, Lord Brahma, also has a material body and is subjected to death. But Satyatmani is saying he is not offering obeisances to any such controller. But this controller is very different from others. He has Sat Chit Ananda Rupam. His form is eternal, full of knowledge and full of bliss. Namam Ishwaram Sat Chit Ananda Rupam. Lasat Kundala. And next line he goes in describing the beautiful form of the Lord. Lasat Kundala. He's specially focusing on the face and on the face also, especially his Kundala. Now, um, in Sanskrit, the word Kundala specifically refers to a, sp 
special jewelry which is worn in the ears. If any ordinary jewelry in the ear is called um, Karnavesha. But it's not talking about Karnavesha, it's talking about Kundala. Kundala means the jewelry which is dangling, which has some dangling portion beneath. So Krishna wears Makara Kundala. The earrings which has a dangling portion which is the shape of a shark. So Lasat Kundalam. Lasat means glittering. So these Kundalas are shiny. Lasat word especially indicates that earring is glittering. Of course it is made up of gold. But it is glittering due to being on the body of Krishna. Uddhava in the third canto of Bhagavatam describes Krishna's body or Krishna's transcendental form is Bhushana Bhushanam is the ornament of ornament. That means ordinary people they put on ornaments on their body to look beautiful. But Krishna he doesn't put ornaments to look beautiful. When ornaments go on his body they look very beautiful. So, Lasat Kundalam indicates the Kundala in Krishna's ears is shining because of being on the body of Krishna. And another uh, aspect which is being meditated here by Stavutmani is the Kundala, because they are dangling and whenever a person moves a little bit, they uh, touch the cheeks. So, the Kundalas are kissing the cheeks of Krishna again and again. This is the significance of Lasat Kundala. It says, Namam Ishwaram Satchit Ananda Rupam Lasat Kundalam Gokule Brajamana Now where is this entire pastime taking place? Is in Gokul. Of course Gokul has two fold significance. One is Gokul is also the abode of the Lord. But Gokul also means, Kula means family and Go means the cowherd. So Gokula means the family of cowherds in a place called Gokul. So this pastime is taking place in Gokul, Gokule, Brajamana. Brajamana means, the word Sanskrit word Brajamana means resplendent. Krishna is shining or looks attractive in Gokul. Now this word Gokul, especially when it's taken as the family of cowherds, the Gopas, is very significant. Shrimati Radharani, she mentions in one of the conversations with uh, Gopadevi, he says, there is no profession in any of creations compared to the profession of the Gopas. The Gopas profession or work or business is the most auspicious and exalted in nature. And she explains how. Because Gopas, the cowherd men, are constantly in touch with the cows. Cows are the most auspicious animal in this entire creation. So it is said just the dust raised from the hoofs of cows eradicates all the inauspiciousness. So the gopas, when they take the cows for herding, are smearing their bodies constantly being smeared with the dust raised by the hoofs of the cows and calves. They constantly pet the cows, keep touching the body of the cows. While milking the cows, they are touching the forms of the cows. They are constantly in touch of the cows. And therefore, their life is actually all auspicious. And therefore, there is no such profession as, uh, as the profession of cowherd men. It's actually a very exalted uh, profession or business in one way to take care of cows. This is the body of Srimadhi Radharani. So, Gokule Brajam, Krishna is always shining forth in the family of 
coward man. And further it goes describing Yashoda Bhiyo. Bhiyo means fear. So Krishna is fearful of Mother Yashoda. Yashoda Bhiyo. Now this is actually very significant word. Because Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Supreme Lord is referred in Srimad Bhagavatam as fear for the fear personified. In fact, in the third canto of Bhagavatam, there's a beautiful verse. Kapilamuni explains. Madhvati Vatoyam. The Vata means air. He says, air is blowing away on all places out of my fear. Madhvayat. Madhvayat vati vatoyam. Surya stapati madhvayat. The sun is shining or giving heat and light out of my fear. And varshati indro dhati agni mrityu charati madhvayat. Varshati Indra. Indra is sending forth the rains and Agni is burning everything out of my fear. And Mrityu Sharati. Doth death goes around taking its toll all over the creation out of my fear. In Vedic uh, scriptures we understand Yamaraj has one of the assistants called Mrityu. Mrityu is a person actually. Devi, Mrityu Devi. She is assistant of Yamaraj. She goes under the instruction of Yamaraj taking toll all over the creation. So Lord Kapila Muni says that death is going around out of my fear taking the toll of all the living things. Now the same Lord Yashoda, he is afraid of Mother Yashoda. He is speaking fearful of Mother Yashoda. And what he is doing in fear? Yashoda bio uluk ladhava. Uluka is the grinding mortar. So, uh, uluk ladhava means jumping from the uluka and running. Now, in Srimad Bhagavatam, you know, there is a description of this particular scene. It says, then Krishna, he turned the grinding mortar on end and climbed up on it and began distributing the fresh butter hanging from the rafters to the monkey as freely as he liked. Due to knowledge of his own mischievous thievery, his eyes fearfully darted this way and that. Mazeshoda saw him doing this and slowly crept upon from behind to catch him. But he noticed, noticed her coming with a stick in her hand and he quickly got down from the mortar and started running away. So this is what is being described in this stanza. Uluka dhavamana. He jumped from the uluka and started running away in fear of Madhishwada. Yashoda abhiya. He is feeling fearful from Madhishwada. Yashoda abhiya uluka dhavamana. Param vishta matyanta. Tato dhritya ghupe. Paramrishta. Paramrishta means um, it, it is it was caught from behind. So Mother Shoda is running behind him but she is able to catch him. Why she is able to catch him? Because Dhritya Gopya. She is running much faster than Krishna. Tato Dhritya Gopya. She is uh, running faster than Krishna and therefore she is able to uh, Catch Krishna. Now, in Ishopanishad, Mantra 4 describes that the Supreme Lord, uh, although situated in his own abode, is the swifter than the mind and can overcome all other running. Nobody can run faster than the Supreme Lord. And yet, we see here that the Supreme Lord, he is being caught by Mother Ashoda who ran after him swifter than him. Tato Dritya Gopya. So that Gopi, Mother Ashoda, is able to catch Krishna by running faster than him. 
And Krishna cannot be caught by simply uh, running faster. Nobody can actually uh, catch Krishna. Brahma Samhita explains, Panthastu koti shatavat sarasam pradamyo vayo athapi manaso muni pungavana. Muni pungavana means the best of the munis or yogis. They may have uh, developed expertise to go at the speed of mind. Vayo athapi manaso. They can go at the speed of wind or they can go at the speed of mind. How fast can mind go? I am sitting here. If I think something in mind 10,000 miles away, within a fraction of a moment, I am there in that place. But even if somebody goes at the speed of mind, Manaso Muni Pungavana, even the best of the yogis, but yet, so Pestiyat Prapada Simni Avichinta Tattve. Prapada Simni means even the tip of the toes of Krishna's lotus feet. They cannot even reach that. They cannot even meditate on the tip of the toes of Krishna. Even though they may have such powerful mind. And yet, Madhreshwada can easily run and capture Krishna. This is only just because of her devotion and love. So this is the conclusion of this verse. That the Supreme Lord is running from the grinding mortar in fear of Mother Ashoda and his form is being described. Namami Shwaram Satchit Ananda Rupam Param Vishnamatyam Tato Yutya Gopyam Yashoda Bhiyo Lukam Ladava Manam Param Vishnamatyam Tato Yutya Gopyam Hare Krishna.